The Repair Café is a movement created in the Netherlands in 2010. Its goal is simple, keep everything fixable out of landfill. Teams of volunteers, now retired or in high-level jobs that don't give them the opportunity to work on physical items anymore, group together once a month and open their doors to anyone who needs them. It's about people networking, so people know that they can bring along items which can be repaired. Now that means it doesn't go to landfill. It's an extension of how people view not just throwing things away, but actually having them repaired and reconditioned. Farnham Repair Café is a charity run by Professor Martin Charter and as of January 2020 has saved over 3,500 kilograms of waste from landfill and reduced 31,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide. I bought in a record player. The only thing really wrong with it is it wasn't charging. We think it's one of the capacitors inside the actual machine. It's but environmentally better to repair yeah. something than to throw it away, isn't it? Yeah, it would take significantly a lot more years for the electronics to break down and decompose. It'll probably take a couple of million years, in which case it would be affecting not just ourselves, but us, our future, Generations. Generations, yeah. Volunteer John Pierce praises the community feel of Farnham Repair Cafe. Nobody just works at their little table. We talk, we chat, we give each other advice, we share the satisfaction of physically fixing something. The Repair Cafe is not just a place where old items are fixed, it is a hub of support both technological and emotional. If you haven't seen it, you'd probably be surprised, but people go away in tears. Uh, with, with the thank, thankfulness, really, and, and, and of course that makes that makes me feel good because I've helped just to physically repair something, but in some cases I've helped to, in this case, give a, a special birthday present. In some cases, restore a, a family heirloom. The repair cafe may have been created to help in the fight for the environment, but nobody anticipated it would gain another purpose: the power to turn back time. I quite like all these old fashioned things and things from the past and 90s, yeah, all that stuff. Things that I remember from my youth. Yeah. Well, I bought this chainsaw, it wasn't very expensive, online about eight or nine years ago. During its life, it has done me very well, but the carburetor had got blocked and also the um, recoil spring. That wasn't working and so I came in this morning uh, to try and get both of these fixed. They can't handle the petrol bit of it but they are going to be able to repair the recoil spring and then I'll be cutting logs again just like I used to. <laughs> the repair cafe is there for people when they don't know where else to go. They may have been turned down, they may be unable to afford the professional repair. All the Repair Café asks is that they buy the necessary parts for their item and give a small donation if they can. The commercial repairers for garden machinery said it wasn't worthwhile repairing it, it would cost too much the service charge, so it's obviously the opportunity to bring it to Repair Café and get it repaired in, in, response, in exchange for a donation. We got a new dining room table from a charity shop before Christmas. It was over 100 years old, uh, had eight chairs, but this one chair um, had, when we got it home, we, we knew it wasn't in perfect condition. And when we got it home, we realized you couldn't sit in it. It's a pity, because it's a beautiful chair. It's got inlaid wood, and it's, got, um, it's a classical piece. So I thought, it, it, it's very strong, it's very beautiful. It needs to be uh, kept. Uh, it needs to hopefully have a longer life than just like be thrown away. So I brought it here because I don't know who can repair it. It helps pass skills to a younger generation. It saves the environment while saving people money. It slows down life and ensures you cherish the past. Should there be a repair cafe near you?